Sadly, some 90-day fiancé couples have faced marital issues after having their kids. However, some pairs are still living a happy married life, even after welcoming two babies. Lauren and Alexei Brabarnik have been married for six years, and they have been blessed with two sons in the last two years. Raising one kid is tough enough, but Lauren and Alexei are taking care of two small children, Shai and Asher Brabarnik. Another 90-day fiancé couple, Annie Francisco and Robert Spring, recently welcomed their second baby, Adriel. Dot they may have had a few ups and downs behind the scenes, but they are still together and seem to be living a happy life. However, some 90-day fiancé cast members don't seem satisfied in their marriages, especially after having a baby. Paul and Karine Stell. The couple got married in Brazil in November 2017, and they were blessed with their first child, Pierre Stell, in March 2019. Many 90-day fiancé viewers would agree that Paul and Karine's relationship hit a rough patch just after welcoming their first son. It was difficult for the couple to take on the responsibilities as new parents, Paul failed to find a job in Brazil, which put additional pressure on his marriage with Karine. At the same time, the Kentucky native accused his wife of cheating on him. Throughout the 90-day fiancé. The other way, Paul insisted that Karine prove Pierre was his son. Yara Zayu and Joby Dufrin. The Ukrainian native got pregnant just one week after arriving in the United States. Therefore, the couple wasn't ready to become parents instantly after their wedding. Many 90-day fiancé fans were concerned that Jovi might not be able to leave his party boy lifestyle and become a responsible father. The New Orleans resident was accused of being jealous of his daughter, Myla, as Yoris spent more time with her than him. He called his wife boring and a crazy mom and insisted she visit a strip club with him. Jovi acted so irresponsibly that Yara once decided to return to Ukraine with her baby girl. Tiffany Franco and Ronald Smith. Previously, the Maryland native talked about how she unexpectedly met her husband and how romantic his proposal was. Tiffany overlooked Ronald's criminal past and got married to him in South Africa in October 2018. Just nine months later, they welcomed their first daughter, Carly. However, the couple's relationship went downhill after their baby's arrival. The South African native failed to help his wife and refused to change Carly's diapers. Due to Ronald's criminal history, he could get a decent job in South Africa and failed to support Tiffany financially. Even though Tiffany was madly in love with Ronald, she decided to split because he could become a reliable partner. While Tiffany and Ronald are now divorced, some 90-day fiancé couples are making their relationship work, even having two babies.